I'm Eve Salazar. Thanks for popping in. This one's going to be a quickie, I promise. Um, <laughs> you guys know how much I like to talk. Uh, so one thing that I am working on right now, um, not an easy thing, and these philosophical and spiritual sort of lessons have been really huge lately, and there's something I think about a lot when I'm on my mat or when I'm in a lesson with a student. And I'm going to pose this to you as a challenge and know that I'm challenging myself as well. So I would never give a student an exercise that I haven't myself had to get extremely familiar with and work on uh, because you can't teach what you don't have and what you haven't learned. Um, and the beauty of this work on the mat in Pilates and yoga is that there's always some new thing to take even from the same lesson lesson right exercise these exercises that we're doing um, what new information can you pull from downward dog let's say you're a yoga practitioner and you've done yoke downward dog 85,000 times great on the 85,000th and one time what new thing can you extract from that? If you're a Pilates practitioner, and um, <laughs> the hundred is what came to mind, sorry, Ooh. Um, not, not one of my favorite exercises, but if you're doing the hundred, what, what new thing can you extract from that exercise? Can you stay so focused in your practice that you can extract something new from an exercise size you've done 40, 50, 80,000 times. And what I see sometimes in mentors I've had who are demonstrating exercises they've done 85,000 times or more is they seem a little tired with it. They seem a little over it. Um, and we have those moments too in our practice. So I'm not judging that. Just know that like, have I gotten to points in my practice where I'm just feeling burnt out? Like, I don't wanna do this exercise. And that's when we have to um, go seek out something new and come back, right? So we have to step away to come back and maybe try another practice out for a while to come back. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, and then when you come back, what's so beautiful is you see something you never would have seen had you not stepped away. So don't be afraid to step away, but also don't be afraid to invest and, and to seek out some new thing. You know, doing, doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the diff a different result is the definition of insanity, as we know. So can you do the same thing over and over again and achieve a different result? That's going to be my challenge to you this week. Okay? So if you've accepted that challenge, I would really love to hear from you what what new thing that you found? What, what change did you exact? What fiber of inspiration did you glean from that exercise you've done a hundred thousand different times? So that's, that's the dialogue I want to have around movement. Okay. Can't wait to hear from you. Keep me posted. We'll talk soon.